So first of all, who who even is this bitch? That's my first question. This girl has been sitting in my um sitting in my um my DMs, my DM requests for the last I don't know, fucking 2 weeks. And I guess she decided to then email my business email. And, um, Adam responds, she, no, she, she DMs Adam, I mean, she DMs the, the business, the business name, right? And says, would you like to do this interview? She DMs, I mean, emails a 17 year old, okay, right? Female, business email to say, would you like to do this, 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 uh, interview about sex in the industry? And then the, the thing is called swallow it. You hearing this? this sh it's called swallow it. So then Adam, being the smart ass he is, replies with, you're a moron. Which, I'm not gonna lie, I probably would have said something along the lines of that too. Because, bitch, have you lost your fucking mind? Then, I haven't even read this yet. I'm finna read this right now. Um, This what this what Shorty had to say. Who wants pure comedy for the day? Bad Baby was contacted to be a guest on my podcast, and then she adds it, Swallow It Podcast. Her response was, you're a moron. The un unprofessional and low-class demeanor of this woman is insane. But then I remember she got famous for telling her mother to catch her outside, and then society had, had, had her blow up and become famous, confusing her actions like this to be tolerated or unspoken, whatever the fuck we're talking about. Disrespecting her elders, da 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 I wanted to interview I wanted to interview her about her rise for fame and her break of social media. That's not what you said in the email. Needless to say, I thought she'd be an interesting guest. Her rudeness and straight up disgusting professional behavior unprofessional behavior has me just saying, Wow. I remember I, when I first did Bad Girls Club and in my head and my head was so big and I was convinced I was going to be the next Kim Kardashian and I burned so many bridges even with people who are doing now better than me. If this is how this girl handles life People and people she doesn't even know her bridges are just beginning to burn. Bro, what is wrong with this bitch? She's grown enough. To, I wanted I wanted to pick her brain in an interview. Bro, what is this lady talking about? I wanted an underage. P.S. Just to clarify, just justify the moral response by stating I wanted an underage chick on a podcast about sex. Yeah, you dumb bitch. Talking about I have a song called These Hoes. These hoes. I can't stand people, especially this underage, grown ass, weird ass bitch. I expect a lot of people to order my angry. Bro, here. This bitch. Bro. What the fuck is wrong with this bitch? If you didn't, if, if you can't stand me. Why'd you want me on your podcast? If you have all these negative, horrible things to say about me, why would you want me on your podcast? Because you wanted clout? Because you wanted to have someone famous on your shit? Why would you ask a 17-year-old to be on a podcast called Swallow It? Shorty, what's wrong with you? And then you're going to call me all that shit as if I was the one who replied to you? Let me tell you something, bitch. You owe me an apology. Okay, so I'm gonna give you the next hour to hit my DM with an apology. I'm gonna come find your ass, shorty. Cause that was disrespectful as fuck. And see, this is what happens when you assume things. See, now if if you if you were so like you say you think you're big or whatever, if you were really there, if you really knew what you was talking about, you would know a lot of these people who are big, people who are big and get a million fucking emails a day. They don't. They they don't answer their emails. They have people who do that for them. Smart stuff. Okay. So, whatever the fuck you thought you was doing, if this is the attention that you wanted, here goes your attention. But one thing no one's gonna do is disrespect me. I don't. I I put a lot of bitches on by um, coming for them for my respect. But one thing you're not gonna do is disrespect me, especially when I was the one who didn't even disrespect you. See, that's the thing. A lot of the bitches I have problems with are.
are the ones who always have, have come to me with bullshit. They don't come to me with no fucking bullshit, little girl. Because I'm not the one. I don't care how old you are. I don't care how many kids you got. I don't care none of that shit. You still a little ass girl to me. Because that, that right there was some little girl shit. You gonna write a whole paragraph talking shit because you got called out for doing some dumb shit. You got called out for doing some dumb shit. That was dumb. That was stupid. That was dumb. Why would you do that? And then now you getting it posted everywhere. Now you happy, bitch. Now you got me on live talking about you. Now you happy. But one thing people don't realize, I don't do this shit to put bitches on. Because I could do sit here and put bitches on all day. But I am going to come for you by my respect, bitch. That's one thing. So, I'm going to let y'all go. I don't know what her name is. What what was that Instagram that I had looked up? Was it Danielle something? Oh, Danielle Victor. Y'all go tell that little Danielle Victor, bitch. She got the next hour to hit my DM with an apology. Or it's going to be some shit. I'm going to make it some shit. Because you don't disrespect me like that. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you do. Especially no dumbass hoe. No bum-ass, dumb-ass, dusty-ass, only-fans hoe gonna disrespect me. Never in your fucking life, bitch. Never.